What's up, Final Nation? Final Fiend 32 here. Um, I just uh, wanted to get back into the habit with things with you guys. So um, I am here. I had such a fun time doing the uh, just going through my tons of stacks of Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards. Uh, those videos. Um, I believe I did the Yu-Gi-Oh one live on Twitch, and then the Pokemon I did a YouTube video for it. But um, I enjoyed the fuck out of it. So. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, uh, pardon me a minute, you know you, you always gotta make sure you keep things clean around here, but um, like, um, I just wanted to go ahead and kind of, kind of do the same thing, uh, you know, my, like my other, like, uh, we haven't found any blind bags lately, but, um, I did happen to, uh, happen into my local Ollie's today, and, uh, got some more comic books, so, got a stack of them right here, um, I am looking forward to seeing what's inside and uh, sharing with you guys. So, um, without any further ado, um, and look out for, I'll probably be live on Twitch later, at a later date, if not today. And I actually did want to share, um, I've been comic book collecting for a minute, but uh, I wanted to share with you guys some of the ones I haven't. Because the videos I do on here are the first time I'm opening them, boom, this is it. This is what we see is what we see. Uh, so basically, that, that's what this video is today, though, but I would like to actually, since I've been collecting for years, go and go through my whole stack, like I did with Pokemon and like I did with Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I want to do the same thing. So, um, y'all just look out for that, man. Uh, but for any, without any further ado, I'm going to get straight into this with these uh, comic books today. Like I said, your local, your local Ollie's, you know, they... As they always say, good stuff cheap. I won't show the price tag, but like, um, let's just say for five comic books, it's a heck of a deal. And um, some, there have been some really, really good ones that I've gotten. Some have been a little dorky, but you know, um, for the most part, they've all been great. Uh, so if you're looking into comic book collecting just because, or you are just trying to find that gold mine, like everybody's all about money nowadays, um, you know, you do you, but. Me, at the end of the day, this is something I love and have always loved, and this whole everybody hopping on board just to make a quick buck thing with Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh cards, that, that's y'all, y'all do, y'all have fun with that, I, but to me that takes the joy out of the actual collecting and experience of it, so y'all see me, these are the same comic books I'm going to be keeping for the next 20 freaking years, so, you know, y'all roll with that and think of it what you will, but, um, anyway... Without any further ado, here's the first pack. Like I said, each one comes with five in them, randomly inserted. Um, if you're lucky, you get ones from the 70s. And if you're not so lucky, well, you know, you get ones from like a year ago. But still, overall, my selection on them has been pretty good. So, first one we have up is Batman Shadow of the Bat. This is a, it says one million on it, so I don't know if it's the one millionth copy or what. Um... But what I see, I like. This is from 1998. So like I said, there may be some duds in here. There may be some, you know, you comic book collectors are more than, um, out there are more than ha uh, happy to let me know. You know, I'm curious as to what I got. So if y'all have something good, please feel free to share it with me. Um, next up, Iron Man, The Choice. Ooh, this is a good one. 1980, this is a 1985 Iron Man comic. So we got a lot, a little bit older one there. So you're looking at what, 30, 35 years? Uh, no, 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 36 years old. So this comic book is 36 years old, guys. I mean, you can tell just by looking on the graphics on the back of it. But we got Iron Man: The Choice. I love the Iron. I think those are my favorite one. Those are the oldest ones that I've been finding. I think I found a 1980s Ghost Rider or something like that. But um, I like most of the 80s ones that I get are Iron Man. So you know, I ain't gonna complain. <laughs> Um, next one, Curse of the King Butcher, Part 1, Justice League of America. So this looks like it might be a newer one. Yep, 2017, but still, really, really cool, guys. Like like I said, the artwork and everything, much respect to all, all the comic book drawers out there. There have always been some good uh, artists out there. So um, this one is Generation X. We got one, let's see. I don't even see the date on this one. I see January 3rd, but that's all. Oh, 94. There it is. You know, some comic books, they write it on in the actual art. So, boom. Nice. And it's got Raw. Which game is that? 
Raw is war. Raw for the Genesis and Game Gear. There we go. That, that's how you know how old that one is. <laughs> and then next up, we have JLA, Justice League of America. This is March of 1999. So, I'm actually really liking this one. I've just beaten the world's greatest superheroes. How are you going to stop me? I don't know who that guy is on the front, but that is still pretty cool. So, okay, not a bad haul for the first one. Not a bad haul for the first one. So next up, we go delve into the second pack. And like I said, today is just straightforward. Something I enjoy. I just happened to be out today, um, and and bought some. So uh, you know, just you know, just to just share with you guys. So next up is next up is part one or two. And give me a second. I'm trying to find the date on it, but. No luck so far. Yeah, I do not see the date on this one at all, but I'm sure it's, you know, ni at least 90s. So, but Cable, for those of you at home, Cable. So, I love the back, too. The back has everybody on, on there like that. It says, 30th anniversary of The Amazing Spider-Man, 1962 to 1992. That is really cool. Okay, not bad. This one's the 90s easily because I see a Game Boy on the back. <laughs> But um, this is, what if the Fantastic Four had lost the trial of Galactus? Reed Richards must die. Okay. 1990. Called it. 1990. Boom. That is awesome, guys. That, that I like that one. What if he had lost? they had lost the trial of Galactus? Hmm. This is the Booster Gold outdrinks Jonah Hex. The greatest hero you've never heard of. This is from 2007. Okay. Oh, Blue Dragon, yep. Outdated, you know, one of those uh, exclusive Microsoft uh, 360 games back in the day. If you can't ever date it by the front of it, you can always date it by the by, by what's on the back side. And this next one is X Factor. Okay. X Factor January 97. Okay, okay. Got a little Deadpool article in here or stuff like that. Who's going to believe I built this beast? Who cares? Uh-oh, I can get one free awesome model kit if I mail you my name, age, and address. Yeah, I'm good. Nowadays, that's a no-go for people, right? But boom, right there, 1997. Not bad. Okay. Well, I got one group left, and this one's looking... This one's looking prompts. Oh, crap. There's one more in this one. My bad. My bad. Let's say, hang on. This one is Batwing, the new 52. So, this is from June of 2012. A Massacre in the Heart of Gotham. That's actually some really cool graphics on that. And the back, the back, the, the back uh, ad is Resident Evil Operation Tycoon City. Raccoon City. Sorry. Tycoon City. F pardon me. Pardon me, Resident Evil fans. I did not mean to jack that up. <laughs> so... And then last but not least, this one I was really intrigued about. So, it's like I said, I don't know if I have any good ones or I don't. Like I said, that's when you guys can at home let me know. Um, heck, that'd be really cool. And if I ever have copies, I'm always, we're still working on the giveaway concept for Twitch. So, y'all just you know, bear with us on that one. But, Superman at the Mercy of Fate. This is, I'm trying to find the date on it, probably on the back side. Okay, it says 2020, so this is the newer one. But that's cool, I still like it. Superman in the Hands of Fate. Or at the Mercy of Fate, excuse me. Still, not bad though. Next one. Mushroom Men in the Spore Wars, Wars and Rise of Fung. October for the Nintendo DS. So this is from 2006. We've got the Young X-Men. Okay, okay. I don't ever think I've heard of the Young X-Men. I've heard of Uncanny and all those other ones, but I have not heard of that one before. So, hmm, okay. L.A. Guns, what rock and roll was meant to be. Hollywood Vampires, yep, yep. Let's see here. Okay. What do we got here? This is Elongated Man. Oh, okay. This is 19, from 1992, it looks like. Yeah, from 1992, it is Elongated Man, four-issue menagerie. Okay, cool. Not very often you get the uh, 
the uh, I wouldn't say off-brand hero, but like you know the everyone knows Mr. Fantastic, but then there's the elongated man. So you know, that's pretty cool. Next we have Marvel. This is still can't still don't see a date. Oh, is that eighty-five? Mm, I'm not quite sure what this one is. You know, like I said, everyone always putting stuff in in the craziest spots. So, but anyway, this is the Mighty Thor, the Enchantress, and the Executioner. This one looks old, at least by the 80s, I would think, just by the animations and, and caricatures and stuff. But that's pretty cool. Plus a mini epic Tales of Asgard. Okay. Yep, 1988. That's what it's dated. Some of the ads in there are dated for. So that's a 1998 Thor. Not bad. Not bad. And last but not least, guys, we have a 96 issue. A 96 issue, June issue of X Man. It is Death Nail. Right there for you guys. Boom, so y'all can see it at home. So, not bad. It's got a Vans. 96, yep, 96 Vans uh, ad on the back. It's actually kind of cool looking. But, boom, right there. So overall, not a bad haul today. Like I said, if you if you know how much they are or if any of them are any good, feel free to drop a comment in the in you know down below. Um, but like I said, I just just having some fun today. But went and bought some new comics. Can never have too many comics. So um, you know, like I said, you guys go check go check my Twitch out, Final Fiend Thirty Two, and then um, check out the rest of my videos on here. Like I said, glitches, uh, blind bag openings, you name it, we we got it all on there. So me and Yinzy do do a whole bunch of different stuff. So um, for right now, though, this is Final Fiend 32 signing off. Much love to all of you guys, and I will see you guys later.